Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and today I have a cute model here that wants to go more blonde but only kind of on the tips. So we're going to do some hair painting and then we're going to give her a new edgy haircut. So let's get started. I mixed up flash lift with a 50 volume and Olaplex because I wanted four levels of lift and it actually does like up to eight levels of lift. So that's good. We want to get it as light as we possibly can just because she kind of really wants to be blonde. And then we might tone it down a little bit if she thinks it's a little bit too light, but that's our plan. And it has previous color on there. All right, so Flash Lift is a Redken hair bleach that lifts up to eight levels of lift. It lifts really quick and it's a really strong bleach. And that's why I'm using it. I wanted this to be nice and fast and I want the results to be really light. So her hair's short. And so I can get this on pretty fast and then as soon as it's to the level I want, just rinse it off. So hopefully we don't have to process for a super long time. This can be a quick, easy, fun color. So she parts her hair over here. I'm just gonna take the hair right on that parting. And I'm trying to leave her base, her natural color and just kind of feather this color in. So I'm gonna start taking sections just like that around her face. And I'm gonna use a foil underneath just because we don't wanna paint onto her face. That would be not nice. Painting bleach on her face would be uncool. So to keep this off of her face, I'm gonna have my Redken board and I'm gonna cover it in a foil just so it doesn't get messy. But I'm gonna pull this up and stick it underneath. I'm just gonna kinda of hold it on my board and then pick up product and I want to use a good amount and I'm just going to lightly, oop, that was a lot. Okay. I'm just going to lightly feather onto the ends here. And now that it's sticking to the board because it has the ends on there, I can kind of feather up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to leave this one on the foil just because I don't want it to slap her face. I don't want to do that. So that'll kind of just lay there. And then I'm going to keep taking diagonal back sections. And then I can just use my hands now that we don't have to worry about painting on her face. And she already has some of these little light pieces. And I think it'll be pretty to have some variation in the blonde. So those ones are going to go really super light and the rest of them are just going to be a little bit darker. So I switched over to using this little spatula so I don't have to keep leaning over to get color for her. And I'm just going to lay that down onto the next section. So you want to make sure you're not doing a solid line because it's not going to look good to have like a solid line right across the hair. You want to make sure you have like a few different peaks and valleys and the ends need to be super saturated because we definitely do not want any splotchiness in the ends. We want those nice and light. So once I got to her ear, I'm going to start taking some horizontal sections here. And I'm going to leave this underneath dark, but just take the top section. Let's use the back of the color comb here. And just paint on a little bit of lightener. And then pull it forward into this. That was great. Leave that there. Okay.
Now that we're by her face, I'm going to take a section just like her bangs. Section here. And I'm going to use a foil board again because, like I said, I don't want to have chance any of that bleach dropping on her face. I have a lot more length to work with here. just to get this one out of her face. I'm gonna lay another foil right on top because I don't wanna mess up my pattern. And then we can fold this one up. I don't like doing hard creases in my foils when I do that, just because it will leave a line in the bleach. And so you just have to be really gentle with it. Okay. Yeah, see I have to clip that. Okay. So this is kind of like a triangle shape. I'm just going to kind of angle it this way a little bit. It's going to have a little bit more hair on this side, a little bit less on this. Her hair is just really long up front. You have a lot of hair. Like, I didn't realize how long it was. It is not, it's like deceiving. I'm gonna leave this one a little bit darker on top and just kind of work on just the ends. It's about half and half on this one. And it will lay over and give some more dimension to have some dark underneath. And I'm just leaving up in front of her face. Are you okay under there? Yeah. <laughs> She's good. Because I'm not gonna fold all these up. We need to just work quicker, so. Always make sure when you're hair painting that you're keeping your hands clean 
because when you go to pick up your next section, if you have blobs of bleach on your hands, it's going to mess up everything. So just keep wiping. Every once in a while, you just get a little bit on there and you need to wipe it off. So, And now that I'm getting back to the back part of her head, I'm really going to be careful not to get too far up and just do these tips. So just a little bit on this one side where her hair kind of parts, I will bring it up a little bit higher, but then I'll keep it lower. So I'm going to work on this side now because this hair is starting to get too short to reach over here. So I'm going to deal with that in a minute. So we're going to go back over here and do the same section that we did on the other side. So we have a little spot where it doesn't pigment. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you have three of them? No, just one. Oh. Just to keep the ends down, get those ends done, and then just feather it up in a few spots. That board helps a lot with this. There's a little bit of separation between this front section and the back section, so I'm just going to hand paint a little bit of highlight in here, kind of like a vertical section. Ooh. Get it in there. There we go. So I think that's going to be good. I'm just going to make sure this side looks, yeah, I think that's good. So now I'm just going to let this process probably 15 minutes and then we're going to rinse it out. You can see on this side it's actually already getting really light. So that's good because she did have like a reddish brown color in there and that can be hard to get out sometimes. So I wanted to make sure we did really powerful lift and the integrity of her hair is still there. It's not turning into bubble gum or anything so I'm not worried about that. I always kind of do a strand test once I'm done applying the color just to make sure there's not anything bad like that happening. Of course, if you were to do a strand test at this point and you pull it and it's like bubble gum stretching and not coming back and breaking, you need to rinse it off, obviously, immediately. Her hair's feeling good. I've been using Olaplex too, so that's probably why. I haven't actually ever had um, my hair clients have a bad strand test while I'm using Olaplex. It has not happened. And I've even done it on hair that's already been bleached and stuff. So I really do think Olaplex does a really good job keeping the hair integrity there intact and everything. So that's why I always use it for something like this where I'm being really aggressive. The back and top are kind of like a caramel after 15 minutes. The front pieces look pretty good. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer just to let these ones catch up a little bit more, maybe like five more minutes and we'll check it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse her hair and do the number two of the Olaplex for 10 minutes and then we will decide if we need to tone. And we probably will need to tone just because it is a little bit gold still. Yeah, we'll definitely tone this. You can still see it has a lot of gold in it from having colors put in there. But that's okay. It'll be pretty. I think it'll tone really well. 
So this is a 9V with a teeny bit of 9T toner and crystal clear, like a teeny bit of crystal clear. I should tell you how much. <laughs> it's like an ounce and a half of the toner and then probably a fourth of an ounce of the crystal clear and then the developer. And I'm gonna just wait for this number two to finish and then I'll just put it on after I towel dry as much as I can and wait till it looks like a good color and then we will be ready to rinse it. So I towel dried and now I'm just working this Shades EQ toner through her ends. And it doesn't have to only be on her ends. This won't affect anything that's darker than it. It's a deposit only. So you can get it all over the place, but I'm really concentrating on her ends, watching them. And you can see that they're already getting less brassy. They're kind of just toning down a little bit right now. It kind of just changes right before your eyes. And I usually watch it until it starts to turn a little bit purple. Just kind of like around the edges where you see lighter pieces where it starts to just get a little bit of a gray or purple, purple hue to it. And that's when you know it's time to rinse because you don't want it to take too purple. You can see right in there. Okay, I think it's ready to rinse. You can see how the ends where they're a little bit lighter have a little bit of a ashy tone to them. That's good. Okay. All right, you guys, here is the end result for the color that we just did. And I think it turned out really fun. It's not super light, which is probably good because you were a little worried about going lighter. <laughs> Um, so anyway, if you want to see how we cut and styled her hair, you need to wait for next week's video. I know it's going to be hard, but you guys, you can do it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and there's also a way you can sign up to get emails. So make sure you do that. And I have some exciting news. We are going to be at CVX Live in Orem, Utah in August, August 7th and 8th. So go buy your tickets right now if you're in Utah or anywhere close to Utah and come and see us at CVX Live. It's going to be a blast, you guys. I'm super excited for this event and it's super affordable. So if you can find a way to get there, click the link below and buy your tickets now. So here's the last little turn. And while she's turning, I'll remind you to follow me on Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And please don't forget to comment and thumbs up this video. Um, love you guys, we'll see you guys next time, bye. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little section here that has some highlights in it. So you can see there's some, like the gold highlights, they're really pretty and I don't think I really wanna change those a ton. I'm kind of working around them on her hair color because I want to have a couple different tones.